Hey everybody, it's Amy Graham, the Badass Valkyrie. First and foremost, thank you all very much for all your well wishes and your cards and uh, get well um, everything that uh, you sent to my P.O. Box. I really appreciate it. Um, Margo, your card was adorable. I love it. Um, I am feeling much better. Uh, my October will not end the way that I had hoped, uh, but you read my blog you kind of understand that um but i am feeling much better and i will be back on the road to training all of that shortly um what i wanted to do is go over this lovely lovely planner that i purchased um with a 50 percent off coupon that i got at candy shop this is a plum paper planner and this is the priority planner and I have it, um, I ordered it uh, but, uh, probably a week after Candy Shop. It only took about five days for me to get it total, which is amazing. And that was including the extra day because my first, well, there's only really two complaints I have about this. And it's not really a big complaint, but notice how it says Amy Graham. I had wanted it to say Badass Valkyrie. However, that goes against no profanity in their titles, which I'm like, are you kidding me? Freaking YouTube lets me have it. And so I, I, I totally respect their, their opinion. They did not want to put that on. And I'm like, how on earth can you think badass is a, is a vulgar word? Honestly. But I let it go and was like, just put Amy Graham. But I'm like, I am so telling people because that kind of annoyed me. <laughs> so, um, but compared to the planner and what I'm using it for, I was willing to overlook that. And I am still willing to overlook that. So, just so you know, you can't have a name badass on there because they find that inappropriate, which I do not, <laughs> obviously. Okay, so like I said, there's only two complaints. That was number one. Um, what I loved was the options that they had for the covers, and obviously coffee in one hand, confidence in the other. Totally me. I love the giant O-ring, or the giant binding. It is one continuous um, cylinder. It's not the O-ring. It's not the one that gets stopped or caught or anything. It is very smooth. Uh, the the covers um, do not, they are not um, removable. Uh, so you can't just change them. However, they are a, uh, the material is water resistant. It's terror proof or tear proof, not terror proof and rigid and sturdy. Sample. Try me. Believe me, I've tried to tar tear this thing. Now you can like bend it trying to tear it, but it's not going to tear. So this is one of the things that you get when they send that to you. So this is my lovely cover. Um, the coil is made of a strong and durable metal material. Um, I, they don't actually tell you what it is, but uh, there it is. So there's my cover. And then it, this is the welcoming page. And this is a weekly planner. This is not my be all end all planner. I will tell you that right now. This is what is going to sit on my meditation space. This is actually a overview of my week that I do on Sundays and um, right before I go to bed and or and when I wake up in the morning. So it's part of my morning routine and it is just something that uh, I have for the household, for my husband, for me that is just kind of an overview. It is not like my everyday carry planner. It is not my Hobonichi cousin and Beck. That still happening. I will tell you that. But this is exactly what I wanted to have. And uh, as you notice, I started it in November uh, because I was like, okay, I need this now. So I went ahead and did it. I added the two extra months, which was only like $3. So you can put your, this planner belongs to made in the USA, plumpaper.com. And the paper is a uh, 70 pound paper. 
and it's a luxe super smooth I'm totally reading it off this cheat sheet right here um, it is a luxe super smooth 70 pound paper um, and you start out the when you enter in it's got the uh, 2019 here month of, or year to glance 2020 here then you get into uh, special dates that you can put in for the whole entire year, year on a two page spread then you can have your ideas, plans, or goals, whatever you want to put in this two-page spread, because these are all uh, blank. Now, this is the colorful uh, notebook, or the colorful uh, option. They do have a neutral that's all grays, but I really like the colorful, so that's just me. And that page is blank, and then all of the dividers are, are that same cardstock, and the tabs are uh, laminated. So you can kind of tell right there that it's not fully laminated, but the whole page is not fully laminated. But then you have your monthly highlights, goal number one, goal number two, goal number three, list for birthdays, a list for events, things to remember, and then two blank spots here. And I love that. Then you have a whole page of uh, lined paper. If you want whatever notes or anything you want to add there, which is awesome. Next, we come to Amy's second annoyance. I love planners that start on Monday. When you go to the week, look at that. Starts on a Monday. But when you go to the monthly view and the calendar, it starts on a Sunday. What the hell sense does that make? None. I'm telling you, none. I hate that with a passion. And what's even more annoying is you can customize almost everything on this spread, but not that. I'm like, seriously, give us another option. Let us have a Monday start calendar. If you're gonna go through all of this to, to update everything, let us have a Monday start calendar. For all the people who have come to their senses and realize that Monday starts are the way to be instead of stupid USA people who have no reason to split the weekend whatsoever. Tangent. Little tangent. That annoys me. I know there are people out there that love the Sunday start. I am not one of them. Once I found the Hobonichi and a Japanese calendar, I'm like, this makes so much more sense. And Saturday and Sunday are together. Look at that. It's amazing. Yeah. And, and I can understand. If you have a Sunday start calendar, then why does this start on Monday? Huh. Don't know. Anyway, these two things go against each other. Like I said, I love this planner. Those two things are the two things that annoy me the most. So, now that that part's out of the way, <laughs> we can get into everything else. Um, you have a blank spot here. Um, and in the monthly, uh, when they have just the monthly calendars, or the monthly um, uh, planners, you can actually change that. You can actually add a header to that. But you can't add it to the weekly, which I found weird too. Because I'm like, if, if it's already done out to where you could actually add that, why not add that into the customization? I don't know. Probably some sort of limitation on however many customizations. I don't know. But it just would seem that if you could customize the whole thing, that'd be awesome. Anyway. Okay. Reading back my little tangent there. But you have the month previous. Then you have the month at a glance. Such as it is. Starting on a Sunday. Then you get into the weeklies. Now, this um, section here is goals, goals this week. That's my header. I was able to change that. I was able to change this. I changed the day, uh, which is my focus for the week, my daily habits for the week. Then you can change the priorities, but this is one of their standard options is priorities. I changed this section to simplify because I am trying to simplify my health, my life, my routine, everything. So I wanted a reminder to simplify my world every day. And I would like to pick one or three things that I can 
simplify. Then you have a section for to-dos, notes, whatever you want. And then you had this bottom section, and this is also one that I, I customized. And my goal for for going for for November for the rest of the year and for all of next year is to create something every day. To be creative every day. I don't care if it's writing, reading, uh, well, not reading, but writing or coloring or painting or designing, cooking, whatever. I want to be, or knitting, I want to learn to knit. That's one of my goals. So I don't care what it is, but every night I want to be able to put in how I was creative that day. So this started on Monday the 28th. And so my priorities here were to get my staples removed at 9 a.m., uh, uh, first day back to work, make it through that first day back to work, and to get my walk-in. Um, simplify was that I picked my clothes for the next day. Um, and I'm still trying to figure out how I'm using this since this is the first week that I'm using it. So just bear with me here when there's not a lot put in. Um, and then my create my creativity or to create was watercolor painting. Um, last night was my blog post. Tonight is filming this video. So something that I am going to create every day for the entire year and from now until the end of 2020. So that's why I loved this because I was like, oh my gosh, I can make this what I want it to be. So you also have the month here to glance. And I love the trackers, and you have you can put up here whatever you want. Um, you can't fill in the trackers, but the the header for that tracker. So again, the things that you can let me give you a blank page here. The things that you can customize this block here, this block here, the header for this tracker here, the priorities or this this section of three here, this section of three there, and then this bottom section. So the other thing that is slightly annoying is that Saturday and Sunday don't give a, get a full day. Um, I'm with Cindy Gunter Baldo on this. Um, you have people that don't work a Monday through Friday job, and Saturday, so they may have a day off during the week, and so they work a normal work day on Saturday and Sunday, and so if you know, I can understand the, the limitations, you know, of space, but if that's the case, let us change the headers. Instead of making it start on the Monday, let it start on Sunday or Tuesday or whenever, you know, that might be another thing that you can help customize because that, I mean, the fact that this was so customizable was the entire reason that I went with this because I'm like, I love the fact that I can change my headers and make it what I want it to be. I just wish there was a little bit more, um, especially when I've seen more in the other different planner sections, but the one that I chose, I couldn't change everything that could be changed in other ones. So, uh, but it is a beautiful planner. The uh, paper is amazing. Um, so you go through, you have the entire month, and then you have a blank page at the end. So you could do like a monthly review, whatever you wanted to do. And so again, same thing with December, a different color scheme. Then you go through the whole year, which I love. Now, uh, Going through the whole year, you can see the different colors. And they all match the tabs. Um, let me get to December. So, once you you can have this up to I believe 18 months. Um, you can have 12 months, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. You can add additional months, which is awesome. Then you can also well, like on this one, I had 14 months. So I had 80 extra pages that I could add other things at the back. And I'll show you what I added. Um, this is the budget section. And so you have the bank uh, page for bank accounts. 
then you have a yearly spread for it has 12 sections that has income, expenses, giving, savings, debit, or debt, debt, I can't even talk today, and then one blank. And so you have that for all 12 months. Then you have my financial goals for this year, and then your notes. So this is your cash flow page, and it's a cash flow two-page spread for the whole year. Then you get into your monthly assessment, and you can write the month out. You, I've got 12 of these in here. Um, had I had more room, I could have put a, an extra two, but I decided not to do that um, because I want my budget to be just starting from 2020. So monthly income, monthly budget, your checking account, savings account, debt goal, savings goal. Under checking account, you've got starting balance, ending balance, net gain loss, under debt goal, debt payoff goal, debt payoff actual, budget goals. Then you have a, under your savings account, your start balance, your end balance, your net gain and loss. Then under your savings goals, you have your savings goal and actual savings and then notes. And then you have here your fixed and periodic expenses. So these are for your fixed expenses and you've got one, two, three, four, eight lines. And in the bottom, you've got your monthly income minus your fixed expenses minus your savings is your spending budget. Then you come over here, and this is your variable expenses. And you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 entries. And then so your total for variable expenses, spending budget minus variable expenses is the remaining balance. And you've got that two-page spread for 12 months. And then, uh, and you can write the month in here. So if you don't start in January, or if I did want to go and start this in November, I could do that. But though there would be two months that I did not have in here. Then at the back... There's your last monthly assessment. You have my bills, and it's a two-page spread. And you've got the bill, the amount, the date, and January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So for all your bills, if you have, uh, like, if you're paying the same bills every month, so you can put the, the amount and then go from there. And then at the end, you have your debt tracker which you have your creditor, three spots for creditors. And then you have their information, the credit type, the account number, the tracker for 12 months. So the amount paid and the balance, your target payoff date, your interest rate, your credit limit, your minimum payment, and your starting balance. And you've got that for three credit cards or three creditors. So that's my, my budget section. And it's just very basic, but... Again, it's just something that I can do in the morning or at night and look at it and go, okay, that's done. This is my fitness section. And this is your fitness statistics. I've got my date goal, my weight goal, and my BMI goal. Uh, my target date, my target pounds, my target BMI. I will tell you right now, screw BMI. BMI, no. No. <laughs> If, unless, I mean, even with calipers, BMI means nothing. And uh, as a gastric bypass patient, uh, even I'm 13 years post-op and I've lost 250 pounds, my BMI is totally whacked out because I have excess skin and adipose fat that I cannot get rid of that my body has forgotten about. The only true measurement of my fat percentage is in a bod pod, or in a weighted pool, in a in a uh, weightless pool thing that you can go into. Other than that, there's no way to tell a realistic look at my my BMI. So I totally ignore that, and I suggest you do as well because all it is is pain and suffering. So um, I do have my like my target goals, my start date, my end date, my start pounds, my end pounds. Now, the section is what you can uh, customize, these sections. 
the sections are preset, so you cannot change anything within the section. You can add pages, um, whether or not um, you want pages at the end of your month, um, or if you want them in the back like this. I chose at the back. You can have your weight overview for 12 months. You can have your, mar your measurements, your affirmation statement, your long-term goals, your short-term goals, and your milestones. Then you get into a monthly overview for 12 months. You have uh, this month's goal, your weight overview, week one, week two, week three, week four, week five, your total gain or loss, your motivation and rewards, your measurements. Again, not BMI overview. I will change that to something else, I'm sure. My, um, then you can tell if you hit your goal or not. My fitness was very poor, poor, average, good, excellent. My nutrition, very poor, poor, average, good, or excellent. So you have that for 12 months, which is awesome. And it gives you a good overview. Oh, I forgot to tell you. On the back of that, you have, let's see, let me go back to this one. You have your weight goal, your BMI goal. Um, weight goal, weight actual, BMI actual, and then your fitness tracker for 31 days. So your vitamins, your sleep, your steps. Now this is also just a little nitpicky. Vitamins, sleeps. What? Wouldn't the, the uh, multiple of sleep is sleep, not sleeps. So vitamins, sleep, steps, exercise, and water. And so it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cups of water. And so you can track that for 31 days. So that's your, in your monthly overview. If your monthly overview is a two page spread. Sorry, I didn't put that in there. And again, you can write down your month there. All right, and then at the end, you have your yearly overview. And again, your goals, your date goal, weight goal, and BMI goal, uh, your fitness and nutrition scale, excellent, good, average, poor, very for, poor, and you do that for each month. Your fit, fitness reflection, your nutrition reflection, challenges I faced, I learned, and notes. And then la, uh, actually I have two different sections. This is in the business section. It's the uh, reflection section. This year's vision in three words. I can tell you one of these words is simplify. Um, the second word is going to be create. And I'm not sure what my third one is going to be. Uh, love, family, friends, partnership. So this is kind of like, a, well, it's your values. And it's kind of like the level 10 life a little bit. So your my values here, you've got love, work, health, play, and your goals. My career goals, family goals, health goals, financial goals, and personal goals. My daily plan, my one-year plan, and my life goals. And here you talk about health, physical, psychological, and spiritual, work, career, education, and volunteering, love, family, friends, and partnership, play, hobby, sports, and leisure. And then you have a reflection for each month. And you have a two-page spread for each month. Um, again, for this month, you can have three separate, the past month and three words. And so this is reflecting on the month previous. So this will, um, this one is for a year, and then this one is a reflection on your previous month. So this one will start in January, and I'll, I'll look back in January, look back at January. So I won't actually fill this out until February, but the past month in three words, my wellness scale, uh, how did I rate my happiness? And it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So one out of ten. My fulfillment, my calmness, my energy, my productivity, my health. I started, I finished, and then you have the top three here. Thing, the top three things I did, top three places I went, top three things I read or watched, top three foods I ate, the most memorable part, memorable part of the month. Then over here is my main goal, my progress I made this month, how I succeeded this month, how I can improve for next month, and step to reach steps to reach improvement. And you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine steps that you can use. And you get that for 12 months. And at the end, you have the year in three words. And so this is reflecting on 2020. And so you have a wellness scale. 
And so for January, um, you've got you've got the one through ten across the board here. Then you've got January through December going down. So if you were a you know a five for January or ten, an eight for February, you just fill in your little boxes for happiness, calmness, productivity, fulfillment, energy, and health. And then the top five things I did, the top five places I went, the top five foods I ate. And the top thing, top five things I read or watched for the entire year. I love that. And then finally is brainstorming. And this is this is part of the business section. And you can brainstorm your ideas. And so you have six main areas: one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you've got notes for each area for brainstorming your ideas. And then over here is the two page spread per month for, for your projects. So you can put the date, you can put the project title, your project milestones, one, two, three, and four, and then how you're gonna break this out. And then, I mean, you can use these blocks any way you want. And then you've got your milestone tasks uh, for milestone one, two, three, four, and then your notes. And then you've got a low, high, low, medium, and high priority. And then your action items. And you've got one, two, three, four um, action items for each section. So I love that. So you have that for the whole year. So you can have 12 different projects. And then at the end, uh, there's no like master brainstorming thing. It's just uh, dot grid pages. And you get one, two, three, four. And this is where I did my pen test. And so I've got the Uniball uh, Hobonichi pen, the Uniball Signo 207, then the R Uniball Sig Signo 0.38, the Precise V5, excuse me, I got the hiccups, V5 RT, the Rollerball Gel, Inkjoy Gel 0.5, and the Pilot G207. None of those, I think right here, and that's the V5 RT barely ghosted. But I don't feel any braille. I don't feel anything. There was no ghosting whatsoever. So um, it was great. This is what I've chosen to use is my Uniball or my Pilot G207 in orange, which is this one here. I love that because it matches my front cover. And then at the end, you have uh, your passwords. Again, don't write them in there. And if you do write them down, use a code that you, only you know. Because this will be the first place people would look if they found this and go, oh, look, here's your passwords for a bank account. Let's just get online. Yeah, don't do that. Uh, my contacts, you've got a page front and back for that. And you've got the USA holidays um, for 2019, 2020, and 2021. And then you've got 2021 year at a glance right there. And then this also comes with a double-sided pocket that's built into it. And then the back cover which matches your front cover and then the um the uh cover the plastic coated cover um this also came with two things of stickers for free and this is the uh little information card that i was cheating off of so there you have it my plum paper uh, planner which I love, other than those two little options that, you know, are kind of annoying to me, but I get it. I just wish they had a little bit more customization, but um, this would have been, uh, for everything with the extra two months, it would have been $58, but because I had a 50% off coupon that we got at Candy Shop, and I apologize, I cannot share that. It was only for those that attended Candy Shop. And uh, so there was a limited number of uses for that. Um, but uh, otherwise, I would totally give it to you guys. But um, I got it for half of that. So uh, $28. $20. So this is the middle uh, version. I think it's a 7x9. They have an A5, a 7x9, and then they have the big one that's like the Erin Condren size. Um, this is perfect. It's right in the middle. Um, and so I really like that. And you can pick your binding 
If you don't like the coil binding, you can actually, they'll punch it for like, I think for, um, they'll do it for the discs or they'll leave it unpunched. So you can punch it for your discs if you want to do it that way. Um, so you have the option in your binding. You have several options for the covers and yeah, I freaking love this. So this just sits on my coffee table upstairs. That's my meditation space on my couch. And um, I get into it every morning and every night. And like I said, it's just very simple. It's not any great shakes. And I haven't done my November goals yet because it's not November. Um, but uh, it's just so I can look at my week. And there's no dailies. There no, there's nothing. They have monthly versions, daily versions, vertical versions. Um, but this is the priorities version. And that's what I really, really wanted. So... This is my um, household planner for 2020. So I am slowly building up all of my 2020 planners. Um, I, a friend of mine just contacted me because she purchased a Cousin of Vec and off of uh, Amazon Japan and then decided she was not going to use it. So I purchased that off her. So my, um, and I've already purchased my weeks. So my Hobonichi order is getting smaller and smaller. Um, and I say that, yet it's still $180. But uh, I will be doing that for my birthday, most likely. So, or technically, my husband will be doing that for my birthday. Um, but other than that, um, I uh, am very excited. So, it, it's this. It's the Jibun Techo Light. And it is the Cousin of Ek, the A6 uh, English Techo. And uh, I am also going to be using, <coughs> excuse me, um, a moleskin daily calendar, but that is just for my oracle pulls. And I will show you that when I get the cover from Lady Falconer. I am very excited for that one. Um, and it should be here Friday. So hopefully by the weekend, I will have an unboxing of that. But um, I have two covers on the way. One is for um, is an alternate cover that I purchased before um, Asan had sent me the other cover for the Jibun Techo Light, and it is from uh, J T King, Justine King, and it's a root beer cover, and I it's gorgeous. I've already seen a picture of it, and then I have the one coming from Lady uh, Falconer, Lady Lady Falconer's Traveler, Lady Falcon Travelers. Oh my goodness! So Monique, um, and I'm very excited to get that. It is going to be gorgeous. Um, also, for any of you that are interested, there's going to be a fandom sale for her, the the covers that she does for fandoms. And uh, that's on November 3rd if you're part of her uh, Facebook group. Anyway, this is the paper or the plum paper planner. And I love it. I really do. I just wish they would make a couple of tweaks. That's it. But this is my planner for 2020 for my house. And I'm excited for it. So let me know now down below if you are looking at these or if you have used one before because uh, this is the first time I've used it. I had never seen one before. Um, I actually, I believe uh, a friend of mine named Lisa and her husband might have been using one of these, but I didn't get a really close look at it. But um, this is the first time that I actually held one when I was at Candy Shop when they gave us the three-month trial. So um, I was sold at that and I am very excited to have this for 2020. So I, I will be updating you guys throughout the year on how this is going and uh, yeah. So I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful Halloween, which is tomorrow, which is my 22nd wedding anniversary. And I will uh, definitely be celebrating with my husband. Unfortunately, because of my um, surgery, I used up my vacation days. Uh, so I will be going into work, but the upside is I get to dress up. So rarely do I dress up for Halloween because it's our anniversary and we usually take the day off together and spend it together. But, um, I'll try to be getting off early, but otherwise, uh, he and I are going out and spending the evening together and then we'll be spending the weekend all, all weekend, just celebrating our anniversary. So I'm looking very forward to that. Um, we've been married 22 years, uh, together 24 and it's been the best 24 years of my life. So anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful uh, rest of your week. And as always, spend the rest of your life celebrating because it is worth every moment of it. Have a great night and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.